Welcome to Dragon Ball Speak, a show where we summarize and review every episode of Dragon Ball Z, three episodes at a time, and we rate them each on a scale of one to seven stars. I'm the self-proclaimed expert, and he is a novice who's watching the show for the first time. We upload on Spotify, YouTube, and iTunes every single Monday. I'm one of your hosts, Brandon. And I'm Wesley. And this is Dragon Ball Speak, episode nine. Boy, talk about some freaking um, – what a change of pace. Yeah, it was the, It was definitely – it felt like a different show for, uh, for a bit there. Yeah, I know. Just we were, like, getting some stuff. Yeah, exactly. It felt completely different. I, I really like these three episodes for the most part. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just so, it's so exciting to get, like, such um, legit plot progression for the first yes. time in a while. God, yeah. Because it's always – it has to be – it's always something. Yeah. Um, in, this, in these three episodes, for the most part, it's like it just really moves along. Yeah. Which is – it's just so nice yeah. <laughs> after everything we've been through together. Um, yeah. So starting, uh, starting off with episode 25 sacrifice, um, get some ominous lighting, uh, sorry, lightning in the clouds. Um, we, this is right after Chao Tzu committed, um, seppuku on, uh, <laughs> on Napa. Yes. And yeah. he's just kind of smoking. The smoke clears. He's laughing about it. Yeah. He's unscathed. Yeah, and um, Krillin just basically says, like, he's just too strong for us. Yeah. Um, not a very hopeful start of the episode. No, it's pretty depressing. Yeah. And then we get uh, Tien's despairing over the loss of his best friend. Um, and we get this moment with Tien where he is um, enraged. I think he I think he takes a knee right here from Napa. Yeah. Yeah, and he's just got a really good great like well animated expression on his face Mm -hmm. super pained his arms just his arm is i do i do wish it was like more of a stump and bloody yeah yeah. but uh it's more like just black but yeah there was like some yellow lightning on it for a second there was like a weird yellow glow on it and i was like "Hmm, that's interesting yeah yeah, i don't know why (laughs) yeah no i can't imagine there's a reasoning yeah (laughs) like this looks cool so he unleashes a furious attack on napa um enraged over the loss of chatsu which was I thought it was like a really badass TN moment. He uh, the attack was so furious, in fact, that he first off it does nothing. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, he was just too weak at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, he just kills over. <laughs> does he die? Like he dies right there? They weren't. It was not very clear, but they definitely say he dies. But like, he, I I don't know. It don't definitely think seems like it. That's yeah. all. I mean, that's. He just kept saying like he used everything, and the episode's called sacrifice and stuff. But like, he sure as hell hasn't even twitched since that happened. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's for sure. Fair, that's fair. I, I think it's. I think. If he if he's dead, it's extra sad because like right before this, we get this really cool like flashback montage. I loved of him that, and, um, man. Chatsu, a, and it's like really sad. You realize he's more of like a older brother than like just like friends and exactly yeah, yeah he's a like lot a mentor of, yeah some dragon ball scenes in there mm-hmm. and it was like oh yeah i thought that was really really well done i liked yeah. that quite a bit actually mm-hmm. um yeah so um tn as far as we know is dead Rip. it's not necessarily like hard confirmed but he yeah he hasn't moved since and that was top 10 anime deaths been three episodes yeah <laughs> Um, we cut to the commie house and they're watching and the reporters are doing their back to their back yeah. on their bullshit, which is, it was only a, a few seconds. A lot so less, I was like, okay. Yeah, exactly. There's no Yajirobe. No, it's yeah. not minutes of the reporters doing stupid crap. So I don't mind it. Okay. Yeah. Screw it. I'm okay with like the tension being broken up mm-hmm. as long as it's not incredibly freaking annoying. Yeah. Um, right after that, um, I wrote Piccolo gives advice. Let's see what that translates to in the actual guide here i think it's when he's like being a, a turd to to go gohan probably yikes <laughs> wow i yeah no tn um i was wondering we just has not i'm sorry tn has not 
fallen yet. <laughs> we I jumped like that a big time. Pretty quick, like, cause that's my last note, and I was like, oh, he's just we're getting straight to the meat. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I skipped. Uh, I skipped straight to the bones. I yeah. skipped the meat. Hey, that's okay. But basically, the only <laughs> thing I skipped is that Tien's getting the crap beaten out of him, and um, Piccolo gives uh, advice to um, Krillin and Gohan, mm-hmm. basically like, don't attack now, cause Krillin was about to step in to save Tien or yeah. try to. But Piccolo says, don't attack now. Let's wait um, until he attacks Tien again. And then we... And then if there's an opening, we grab the tail or, or what have point, you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I skipped all that. <laughs> um, and Vegeta is... Um, I wrote Vegeta is impressed. Yeah, cause, because Nappa gets like... Like, they get, they catch him off guard. Yeah. And Vegeta's like... Oh, no. I mean, Vegeta's like being like the, okay. the shitty friend to Nappa being like... Ah, dude, you suck. Like, they almost got you. Right. My brain's and, back. And he's just watching it from the distance, so it's pretty funny. Yeah, he's just, dude, he's having the time of his life just, yeah, yeah just watching. Exactly. It's a comedy for him. So this is where the Piccolo, Krillin, Gohan combo comes in. Um, Piccolo hits him. Krillin knocks him down towards Gohan. And then it was time for Gohan to execute a blast. But he chickened out, and he got scared because he is a five-year-old kid. Yeah. Who, unfortunately, doesn't have any actual battle experience. Um, Piccolo warns Vegeta that he's not going to be smiling when Goku arrives, and uh, Vegeta thought that was interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Nappa flies into the air um, towards Tien for the kill, but that's when Piccolo and Krillin launch their surprise attack and actually topples Nappa towards Gohan. Yeah, this is the point where Gohan becomes scared because of Nappa's face or just the whole the whole issue. He remembers yeah. Tien's arm being busted off and piccolo and Krillin are like all right dude you're up to it's, bat like this is yours to to mess up and then sure enough he uh he leaves he yeah. does right and uh, he ran for cover and piccolo and Krillin they try to fire at him but at that point yeah it's, it's like it's, it's pointless he's already recovered uh-huh and um piccolo and Krillin, uh <laughs> piccolo and Krillin decide to use a uh the triform technique which yeah. is where or the multi-form um but yeah their power levels like we know are reduced to a third for each so mm-hmm. they don't even land a hit it's just, still just as gross when piccolo he <laughs> scoops he himself, sucks himself out back and in. sucks himself in yeah um then we get the tn montage with Chiaotzu, which was really sad and really well done um mm-hmm. like you mentioned like 10 minutes ago yeah. already <laughs> it's like a rocky training montage except that he dies yeah exactly <laughs> but he's so mad um, that he forces himself into a one-armed tri-beam attack, um, and it hits Nappa directly. Yeah, and you're like, oh. Which was a freaking cool scene. Mm-hmm. It's just badass. Tien, like, something about him since his first appearance, like, he he's always going to be badass yeah. in one way or another. I love him quite a bit, actually. Um, but, of course, it doesn't do much. The battle armor was damaged quite a bit, but Nappa himself was fine. Yeah, he's, um, he's still, I mean, not feeling it. Yeah, um, Tien collapses at that point. Nappa's battle armor is severely damaged, and then uh, Tien collapses and, as far as we know, dies. Yeah. And then Krillin screams out to Goku like he has, I think, a couple times already, but yeah. Vegeta's starting to really take notice of this stuff, and it, uh, it actually caught um, Vegeta's attention again to the point where Nappa decides to, uh, as he's going to resume the battle, Vegeta actually stops him and asks if Goku is Kakarot. So he's put two and two together. Yeah. We see that he's at least somewhat intelligent, especially compared to Nappa. Yeah, jeez. Um, and then... And that's when he's like... they. I mean, you realize that, and then for a split second, at least for me, I was like, oh, shoot, that means like they're about to be scared, and they're like, oh, it's just Kakarot? Like, that dude's like not even a true Saiyan. Right, and he couldn't even beat Raditz, who exactly, is yeah. as strong as a Cyberman who got wiped out by Krillin, yeah. even. And so Vegeta, loving mm-hmm. the idea of this little competition that they've had going on and he's like let's take a three hour break and wait for goku to show up so that we can destroy him exactly yeah and so yeah much to uh, much to our surprise i I would expect from you anyway yeah they take a three hour break which is just so strange yeah (laughs) vegeta's just that curious yeah 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 i mean they've been crawling calling out for goku he's like there's just no way he could be any stronger um and then nappa tries to defy vegeta and then vegeta calls out again and uh, doesn't threaten him. He yeah. He basically like is like, are you sure you want to defy me? And Nappa backs off. Yeah. Um, so once again, you know. So he's taking. Like, he's taking. Now we know he's like taking orders. Like, Vegeta legit. is daddy. Vegeta is daddy. Um, and Piccolo is now disappointed in Gohan. So mm-hmm. yeah, this was kind of a sad moment. But he's he's to the point where um, 
he's like barely even acknowledging Gohan. Yeah. He's so he's so Piccolo's pissed at him. down and Gohan walks up to him and he slams Gohan into like a rock and is like, "You can get away from me unless you're gonna fight." Yeah, exactly. And Gohan's like, "Oh, dude." <laughs> right. Yeah. No, he's not. He's not even willing to fight. Um, he runs mm-hmm. away. We probably could have expected it from him, uh, but Piccolo expected more. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's super disappointed in and uh, Gohan for running away like that. Um. But yeah, overall, God, what a solid episode, man. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was a fun one. Yeah. Especially, com- well, no, we got some. No, no, we didn't. What? I was going to say we got some good ones recently, but oh, no, we did. The one before this was pretty good. Decent, yeah. yeah. But especially compared to just what we've been through. Like, yeah, no, <laughs> like I, I said, everything is a nice change of pace over that filler. Good God. Yeah, so it's interesting. Uh, original original title for that episode is Tian Shin Han Cries Out. This is my last energy manipulation canon. <laughs> Oh, that's a very, I mean, it rolls right off the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, original English air date was 2005 in July. 2005? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Dragon Ball Z, yeah, it actually aired over here early 2000s, which is why so many people our age are like, yeah. um, you know, like mm, really into it. I thought it was it. like a 90s show, which I guess it was in Japan. Well, so Japan but. air date was 1989, almost 20 years before that. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, just anime didn't get dubbed as often Back yeah. in, I mean, this is the first major, like, dubbed anime that was, like, mainstream. That's crazy. It is. There you go. The more you know. Yep. Dragon Ball Z history with Brandon and Wesley. Yep. <laughs> okay. Moving on to episode 26, Nappa's Rampage. Uh, we start off with that Nappa lick. He licking his lips. Yeah, this... I really didn't like this episode. There was a lot of things that were weird. Uh, yeah. And most of them have to do with uh, Nappa. The He's <laughs> the tongue. Well, just I'm just gonna highlight. He starts some with things. his tongue, yeah. So the tongue thing is weird, and then when later in the episode Gohan tries to like leave, he's like, "Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere." And his hands just like going crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "What the heck is go? Like, what were they animating here?" Um, I but I, I don't know. It's okay because top ten anime death happens right afterwards when what? uh Gohan calls him stinky. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Dude, get murked, Nappa. Yeah, like, he said you smell right in the face, bro. Yeah, and that's um that this episode's weird, and yeah. now you can explain the summary and okay. So yeah, um, Nappa's bored during the wait. Vegeta tells him that he wants to personally teach Goku. Kakarot a lesson for defying them and Raditz. Gohan's feeling super guilt ridden and super crappy in general because mm-hmm. his mentor at the moment is Piccolo, who is super disappointed in him. And yeah. but he apologizes to Piccolo because he realizes that he was weak in that moment. But Piccolo goes hard to yeah, the point no. where Krillin's like, "Hey, dude, he's like he literally tell- four years old." Right? No, yeah. Piccolo tells him to go home. He's five now. By five, the way, yeah, true. It's been a year, dumbass. Damn it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he apologizes to Piccolo. Yeah, P- Piccolo tells him to go home. Which, to be fair, I mean, if he's not going to help, then, yeah, you you are just going to get in the way. They're relying on you. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, the Krillin defends him, which I think is cool because, you know, Krillin, it's basically the son of his best friend. Yeah. And, yeah, he's a kid, man. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, man. Um, and that's the, Gohan's, the, the Gohan. Yeah, tries Gohan to starts and... to go home slowly but <laughs> napa bullies him into staying and with his hand <laughs> right yeah with his with his i guess his hand i don't really Dude, remember that <laughs> i was like what it's bad well you have to go back and check it out it's so yeah. funny man his hands like it looks like a video game glitch where like the person's just like spinning and stuff his hand was just like weird it was very odd yeah so napa messes with gohan a little bit and Na- gohan says i wasn't going home i was gonna go to the bathroom yeah. if that's okay with you and you could use the shower yourself. But then, yeah. Vegeta, or sorry, Nappa goes with his ear. He goes, "What's that?" <laughs> and then Gohan's like, "All right, bro, I got murdered." Gohan murder says, you, now. "You smell," and he, yeah, he got murdered. He did, he actually didn't like the comment, <laughs> which is funny, I think. But hey, uh, this episode was also like, I mean, throughout these episodes, you find out that Nappa like really likes the way he looks. He yeah, makes a few comments yeah, that all of a sudden he cares. Would, like, he's like loves his perfect face. face and his back is beautiful and like. Yeah, he doesn't like being stinky, and it's like, okay, dude. Yeah, it's a little out of character. I'm sh- and to be honest, dude, I'm sure each of those lines <laughs> is probably completely different in the yeah. Japanese version. If at least, at least, him saying "my beautiful face." Yeah, <laughs> I can't imagine that's what he said. I know. So uh, we cut back to the reporters. Oolong is scared. He is real scared, and then Bulma yeah. roasts him. So I've got this is another reason I don't like this episode. I've got okay. some beef with Bulma. Um, I put Bulma, <laughs> you suck. And then I said, don't hate on my boy, Oolong. 
because she's being a real asshole. And here's the thing. Oolong, sure, he's not physically imposing, but he's got the smarts. <laughs> he doesn't. He, so you're wrong. He's got <laughs> he's got the smarts, and Bulma's just sitting here. She's he's he's a little scared, you know. Who wouldn't be? And Bulma calls him a coward, and it's like Bulma, you suck. That's that's Oolong you're talking to. Put some respect on the name. Oolong did save the world once. Yeah, he did. And Bulma has not done that once. Yee. Nope, she hasn't. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so a news crew approaches them again for, like, probably the fifth time that we've seen. Of course. Um, and Nappa sees them and decides to kill them with Vegeta's permission. And then, then we get the weird montage of Nappa flying around and he I kills like, the reporters. Yeah, and, and uh, this this part's cool. Like, they're being, like, meta because the reporters are like, oh, man, it's Nappa. He always kills the reporters. Oh, no, he's coming for us. Oh, he's probably going to kill us. And then... Yeah, you get you get killed. Yeah, it, it was. And I was like, okay, at least you're acknowledging that the reporters always die. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the and the military, he just I think King Piccolo did the same thing. It's funny because in the first episode, one of my notes, um, I said like, and just while I was watching, I was like, where's the military and all this? Like, what's they had the police? They got murked. Like, where's the rest of the world power fighting these guys? And then sure enough, in the the second episode. Uh, Napa destroys the entire Navy fleet, I guess. Right, yeah. So the reason the Navy probably didn't pop up until then, because him destroying the Navy wasn't in the manga, but honestly, it's because those reporters aren't in the manga, so the whole mm. world didn't even know about them. True. Uh, is what my assumption would be. We also don't really know, like, the world stage, necessarily. I mean, we know the Red Ribbon Army is a thing and stuff, but, like... Goku destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. Damn right. Uh, Solo... Um, and so that's all the notes I took on dude, this episode. Dude, the worst line in this episode, uh, Nappa's flying around, and he's like, man, this planet's really nice. We uh, could really sell it for a bundle. Maybe, maybe even two, two bundles. bundles. I was like, what, what is a bundle? Because at first I thought he was talking about like like a deal, like a buy two, get one free or something. And I was like, what kind of I think like a bundle of cash. Yeah, like probably like a but bag. And maybe it's like, even two bundles. I guess they're supposed to be making him a moron because even Piccolo says, like, he's not very smart. Yeah. But, God, dude, it sucks. Maybe two bundles. Maybe even two. Um, so, yeah, Nappa kills the military. Finally, Goku, we, we see Goku approaching the uh, way station, I think it's called. Yeah. Um, Nappa fingers one last city. He goes, <laughs> yeah, he does. Finger blasted it out of existence <laughs> once again. Um, and um, <laughs> he goes he goes back. <laughs> Sorry. I'm no, thinking of uh, I keep at uh, the minute he took his clothes off. I, yeah. He's just he's stripping, dude. He's so thick, bro. Yeah, Nappa flies around. He rejoins Vegeta to the battlefield and removes his damaged armor. Um, and then this is where Piccolo makes a plan with Krillin and Gohan to grab Nappa's tail specifically mm -hmm. to render him powerless, like Goku did with Raditz, and like we've seen happen with Goku in the past when he was a kid as well. This plan is weird because it puts all the pressure and everything onto Gohan, and it's like. You know he's got a problem with this. Yeah, but at the same time, he snaps under intense pressure like that. Yeah, no, I know for sure. Well, it's just like... Depending, obviously, yeah, but... If, I mean, the world's on the line. Like, uh, Gohan probably could have grabbed the tail and Piccolo could have dealt the final blow, but who knows what... That happens in the next episode, I think. Mm. Yeah. Right, and uh, uh, yeah, Piccolo says it's their one chance, um, and then Krillin charge... Uh, the, the plan is that Krillin charges, Piccolo grabs the tail, and then Gohan hits him with the head on attack. Yeah. Finally, Goku is on Earth. I really like Kami recognizes the rush that they're in. So yeah. it's just like boom, boom. No one grabs him. He's like, let's bitch, get let's the go. Hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. Grabs him. Uh, Goku, he, I don't know what's different here, but his uh, the voice acting sounds a lot better for him. I, I don't know why it stood hmm. out to me. I didn't catch anything, but. Yeah, but he sounds great. He's clear. I love like how, how they're sh able to show that like, he's really rushing. Yeah. He flies past Korin's tower and then um, he tosses him two Senzus. It's the last ones. Mm -hmm. Senzu beans. It's the last two he says. Um, yeah, I really think that's an awesome sequence of Goku getting to the end of Snake Way, teleporting to the lookout, mm -hmm. lookout jumping off, getting the beans, and then getting Nimbus. Uh, he eats one of the beans. Yeah, so he's going to be full of four. Because I, th I was thinking the whole time he's flying, it's like, man, he's using a lot of energy like flying across Snake Whip. Mm -hmm. Makes sense that he would have to uh, eat the sense of being there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really like that sequence. Um, and, yeah, everything ex – I don't I don't like in this episode. I don't like the Napa with the military and the him running around and, yeah, being, and just doing being stupid. Stuff. Yeah. No, this is my least favorite episode of the three for sure. Yeah, it was mine. 
Um, yeah. Then so we get to Nimbus Speed, episode twenty-seven. Nimbus Speed, bad name for an episode. I yeah, very I strange. Immediately name. assumed that it was not going to be good. Yeah. Um. So let's see. The original title for Nimbus Speed. Leave it to me. Gohan's great burst of anger. Mm. So yeah, once again, man, with these Japanese um spoilers. Yeah, titles. <laughs> yeah, definite spoilers. So we get to this one. Uh, it starts off with like some morose shots of the. I think it was of the dead characters. Yeah. We see a shot of Yamcha. I think Tien. Um, Goku's racing towards the battlefield on the Nimbus, uh, and then we once again go over Piccolo's plan. So one more time. <laughs> yeah, one more time. Piccolo says his plan that we covered in the last um for the episode 26 and napa realizes that they're scheming but he's too stupid to like really look into it yeah he's just like you're keeping secrets over there yeah but it's not like i mean you find out that their whatever their plan was is not going to be anything for napa yeah right exactly he he he's not even really worried about it even though he's taken a couple hits at this point it's still he doesn't have any serious damage Mm -hmm. um so the now na- or the, sorry the, the napa the the, napa. Pl- <laughs> the plan goes into place um krillin starts charging towards napa but he rockets himself into the sky uh during the last minute which i think is cool that's actually one of his moves in uh dragon ball fighters oh nice. yeah he shoots himself into the sky like that what a great game um <laughs> if you play xenoverse 2 <laughs> any listeners i don't know i don't know why <laughs> that move. dude this is a controversial take too really xenoverse versus fighters is like I don't, I don't know why. I haven't played either, but I've seen both, and I don't know why you would pick Xenoverse 2 uh, over Dude, uh, I don't even get Z. me started. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, Nappa's distracted long enough from Kr- Krillin's display here that Piccolo moves behind Nappa. He does grab the tail, and mm-hmm. Gohan is moving in. Yeah. He's in for it. He, he knows that he did wrong last time, and he's mm-hmm. clearly going in for the attack. But, dude, nasty elbow to the yeah. head Imme- immediately once he grabs the tail i was like oh this did not work because right. when goku had his tail problems back in like dragon ball it was like an immediate reaction like that including cri- reddit actually yeah yeah true yeah that cripples you like you go down and you're like and then napa he just kind of looked at piccolo and then yeah like you said he just, drops this elbow on a completely dude like unguarded definitely like piccolo. any other dude's head would be crushed oh and for explode. sure <laughs> like that thing i mean even piccolo was like you could tell bro. that was yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> i know that was a nasty hit yeah and gohan put he halts the he puts the brakes on yeah he's Pic- like nah bro. goes down yeah gohan's like Ooh, mm-hmm. maybe nope. not yeah um and then uh vegeta laughs at their strategy saying yeah. that they've evolved past such a lame weakness mm-hmm. uh which makes sense even goku in in late dragon ball he gets past the tail weakness yeah so um raditz was the uh like last that we've seen of it um, so clearly that's not going to work. And then Krillin, um, so Piccolo is down. Nappa sets his sights on Gohan and starts to beat him around. Um, <laughs> Gohan's getting beat around. Krillin intervenes and he managed to land a couple hits on Nappa, which is awesome because I love Krillin as a character. Mm-hmm. I love seeing him like get a little bit of, yeah, he's kind of like the first one on. to like actually like really do he, Nappa dirty in terms of like landing some blows on it. We've seen Nappa a take a hits. few hits, but like Krillin was like definitely put in some work he was doing work i literally wrote down where is it where is it krillin does work oh good <laughs> yeah <laughs> i put krillin holding his own against napa nice but and we see um an iconic krillin attack i think this is the first time we see it have seen it mm-hmm. um but it's just one of his most famous attacks just because it's cool which is the destructor disc is that the first time we've seen it yeah because okay. i have never seen it and i didn't know the name i wasn't sure um so yeah kienzan or destructor disc um Nappa is scoffing at it. It takes Krillin a minute to charge it up. It looks really cool. Mm-hmm. Na- Nappa's like, whatever, I'll take it. And Vegeta, however, recognizes the danger of this attack. And he's like, bro, move. Yeah, he says, get down. Um, he cuts Nappa's face. Mm-hmm. His beautiful face. <laughs> and it and it chops the mountain in half behind him. Yeah, so you know somehow. that it would have, I mean, and Vegeta points it out, like that would have gone cut straight him through Nappa half, and dude. he'd be two pieces. So if it weren't for Vegeta's intervention, they would have won that fight right there. Yeah, for sure. Period. Absolutely. You ready? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, the Destructor Disc, um, yeah, it got him in the face. And, yeah, Nappa has this weird line of mm-hmm. my beautiful face or Ow, something like that. My beautiful face. Yeah. He's, He's just... got a little bit of blood dripping down. Right. Which is, which is the first drop of blood. All that for a drop of blood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, sorry, I just had to. <laughs> I, like, I had to. It's Thanos. Yes. In case you guys didn't know. Well, I mean, it was spot on, so. 
<laughs> How could we not know? <laughs> yeah, I have a really good Josh Brolin impression. People tell me that. Um, so Napa Blast, uh, Napa Blast Krillin, real good Napa in Blast. retaliation. Napa Blast. <laughs> And Krillin, yeah, he gets he gets hurt. Uh, he's going to get finished off, but Piccolo wakes up and blasts Nappa in the back. Mm-hmm. And this is when, like... Weird exchange, yeah, yeah. where... I, I thought it was kind of funny. Um, Nappa says, how dare you blast me in the back? And Piccolo yeah. says, sorry, I thought it was your face. And then Vegeta, that tickled him. He yeah, thought, Vegeta was like... He thought it was funny. I can see how you make, make the mistake. Yeah, exactly. I love how tickled he was by that comment. Yeah. Like, he's so... You know that he's ruthless and evil because he's making comments about killing everybody, but he you can also tell that he he really is neutral watching this. Oh, yeah, right now he, he's, like, not in it. He doesn't seem to give a damn, like, whether or not Nappa wins or loses. Because, oh, I mean, his old, his master plan is to become invincible, and then at that point, when you're invincible, what is the what does it matter? Like, Nappa is nothing to him anymore. Exactly. Right now, it's, like, his brute. Right, yeah, or exactly. not invincible, uh, live forever. Um, yeah, it was uh, immortality. Yes, that's right. Which I guess could mean either. Same, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Piccolo hits that blast, uh, which is also a really good hit. And then Nappa is going to retaliate, but Piccolo, Gohan, and Krillin immediately sense Goku's power signal from afar. Finally, yeah, Jesus, finally after finally. all, after all those shots of Snake Way. Of yeah, we've kind going, of talked over it just because it's like I think we've seen. But we it so do much, get quite a few shots of it. Like yeah. for the past six or seven episodes, go like Goku finally leaves, and it's like, well, nope, he's going to go through Snake Way for a few episodes again. Yeah, and it's nice to finally be over that. Yeah, I don't ever want to see Snake Way again. <laughs> no comment. Who knows? No. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Z Warriors are stunned by Goku's increase in power. Um, Nappa and Vegeta, however, can't sense power levels without a scouter. So Nappa or Vegeta uses his scouter and picks up Goku's power level at 5,000. And you can tell, like, this is kind of... Um, oh, he's, like, sweating, dude. Yeah, he's like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. we got we to gotta maybe do some work. Because he realizes, because... Like again, we see this intelligence. Um, Vegeta realizes that five thousand may only be the beginning of Goku's power, since he knows from Raditz's transmission or whatever mm-hmm. that they can hide their "quote unquote" true power, which is just like taking off clothes and stuff like that. Right, just by yeah, whether it's um taking off the weighted clothes, whether yeah. it's a uh, power up from anger like Gohan had. Mm-hmm. Um, so Vegeta orders Nappa to go ahead and kill everyone right now, just just so he yeah, says I mean, so the they stakes, don't team up. The stakes get high real quick. Vegeta's like, oh, shit, wrap it up. Come on, yeah, get ready. Exactly. We got to prepare. There's a 5,000 coming our way. Yeah, it's not a game anymore. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so 5,000 is clearly a threatening number compared to what was Goku in the beginning? 900? Like, no, it was uh, like 340. Whenever, like, oh, him, and, yeah, whenever yeah. him and Piccolo were going, it was like 370 and 340. So now, in theory, he's like, what, 10 times stronger than he was yeah. when he fought Raditz? I don't necessarily think the numbers translate directly like that. <laughs> yeah. Power levels. I will say in this area, in this like whole spot during the episode with the scout and everything, I was like, oh, this is when the it's over uh, 9,000 part happens. And I was and I was waiting for him to be like, oh, it's over 9,000. So I'm, I have that to look forward to still, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. Or 8,000, whatever the proper translation is. I know there's one that's on Hot Topic shirts and one that's the actual number. Yeah, so the meme is 9,000. The, okay, so the technical number is 8,000, and it was a mistranslation. Not even a mistranslation. It was a change because of, um, like, dubbing lip flaps, the <laughs> mouth movements, essentially. <laughs> lip flaps. Um, no, so, yeah, I don't remember. We'll get to it, I guess. Lip if flaps. If we see it. Who kn- I don't know. You are... Nappa reminds Vegeta that they need the Namek-, the Namek alive. So, yeah, once again, we hear, don't kill the Namek. We've been hearing that for three episodes. Yeah. Um. But Vegeta explains that since Piccolo is from the planet Namek, another set of Dragon Balls will likely be present there. Um, Gohan implores Piccolo to flee while he holds Nappa off until Goku arrives, which Piccolo is impressed by. Um, yeah. But Nappa takes it hard. <laughs> I don't know why it says that. <laughs> Nappa takes it hard yeah, and charges does. toward Gohan. Mm. Okay. Well, either way. Um, what website is that? P-O-R-N-H. Dragon Ball. No. <laughs> no, no, that's the other tab. Uh, DBZporn.com. I'm sure that's a thing. Uh, I, I'm not going to look. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. But his anger is only amplified when Goku kick. Uh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Gohan kicks him square in the jaw and sends him into a pile of rocks. So, yeah, they're definitely adapting to this fight, right? Yeah. I mean, um,. 
Yeah, I mean, when Nappa first started fighting them, it was an absolute beatdown. But either Nappa's getting tired or they're kind of uh, getting smart to his tactics, but they're starting to land. They're more motivated too now that, now they, that know Go- Goku's they know Goku's the coming for sure. Um, Nappa gets even more angry. He powers up um, and a fires big a big old blast. Fires a not just a blast, it's called Bomber DX. <laughs> so Sounds he, like a um, Yu Gi Oh game. Yeah, he fires a Bomber DX at Gohan. But at the last second, Piccolo throws himself in front of Gohan, mm-hmm. and we get this montage of him taking care of Gohan. Yeah, it's really sad. Oh, it's sad, and it's freaking beautiful, dude. He's like, at first, I wanted to fight you out of vengeance so that you could become my opponent. Train you out of vengeance, yeah. Yeah, and then he's like, but now, what does he say? He says something. Now, um, I'm willing to... He's like, I'll always be there to protect you yes, or something. Yes, that's, that's, yeah. that is it. Um, so, like, yeah, he oh. takes the blast. He risks it all, for sure. Uh, which, yeah, it's, what a cool moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, interesting cliffhanger. I cannot freaking wait to watch these next couple episodes, man. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see Goku do something that is... Because even, like, the stuff that I did like with Goku recently, like the training and stuff with uh, King Kai, it's like, <laughs> I just want to see him back on Earth fighting some actual people. Right. Doing some actual things. No, I'm, I'm with you. The last... Yeah, the last fight we saw Goku in was, of course, versus Raditz. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they were really outmatched. He was teamed up with Piccolo. And really, it's a really short fight. It's been a long time since we've seen a good Goku fight, like, in the canon of Dragon Ball. Like, yeah, that the, one's good, but it's short, and it's not really The last really, truly fight. good fight, yeah, is him versus Piccolo Jr. at yeah. the 25th Martial Arts Tournament. Yep. Where he wins. Uh, barely. <laughs> I love that fight. Mm-hmm. But so, yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen some good action with Goku. I cannot freaking wait till we... Um, so next we watch these, yeah, yeah, next week. I can't wait till next week. Episode ten of our show is gonna be really good. Uh, yeah, I guess that just is about the next episode it. where Goku goes Super Saiyan for the first time. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Damn it, he's good. Vegeta said something about Super Saiyan, but uh, I mean, as, as far as that goes, mm. who knows? What did he say? He'll become. What did he say? I have no idea. Okay, fair enough. We'll become something, something. I don't know okay well let's review these bad boys yeah right i knew i was forgetting something so i can tell from talking that you enjoyed these more than me really i'm still in the boat where like it as much as i like watching this stuff it's still in the way it still feels like it's in the way of what i'm ready to watch which is goku's fight you don't mistake anticipation for it's like anticipation but disliking the show no it's it's i mean it's just i don't know like there's a there's a point of like build up and then there's just too much like where I'm like but this okay this is the good build up yeah but it comes after the bad build up so I it's know. like it's all build up like at least you know it's coming down to the wire though there, no this I mean I definitely really good action I definitely agree it's coming down to the wire but yeah I just I can't handle these long droughts of see for me I don't need it to be Goku I I just well like not seeing even what's it doesn't need to necessarily be Goku I just don't like knowing that Goku's coming and it's like. That's the fight that like we've been building towards. That's the fight mm-hmm. where he's probably gonna save the day, and it's like, mm-hmm. it just feels like all this other stuff is great to watch, but inconsequential after the Goku fight starts. The Goku fight, if that's what's coming, <laughs> will be so much better as a result of everything we've seen. Oh, I, I mean, I, I probably agree. If, if the it fight was happens. just like Goku versus Raditz, and then. The Saiyans are here. Goku yeah. versus Saiyans. This would be so much lamer. No, I agree. But, but like, it does get to a point where it's like... Uh, I like, just didn't need four or five or six. I think it's only, seven episodes of him jumping in, in Snake the, Way. Yeah, the only reason that you feel this way is, yeah, the egregious filler, which, like I said, gets so much... Like, yeah. they, we don't have... That was bad, dude. Yeah. I'm I don't just know what for, happened with Toei Animation's schedule Yeah, it was, it in was the beginning brutal. of this show. But, it, yeah, episode t- 9 through 17, I think I have 100% would down. stop me from watching the show if I did 9 through 17. Like, 9 through 17, yeah, dude. That's, that's so many. When we came up on that, when we were about to record um, episode 4 mm-hmm. of our show, I was like, dude, these, this next month is we're only watching filler. We watched filler for a month. And it doesn't help that, like, in 2019, we're in an age of, like, probably the best like the golden era of anime oh of course as far as that goes big i mean there's not I well mean, because they take their time more exactly now. Yeah. yeah like they don't mind 
like Attack on Titan and My Hero, they'll take these big breaks in between seasons, huge and, breaks, dude. or even end seasons to make sure that they don't need to do filler. And, yeah, and, there was an excruciating mid-season break for Attack on Titan season three. But I bet that's probably ten times better than getting some really don't bad, even ask, dude. It's freaking like filler episode. Or you get to watch one Titan, of the giant get me Titans eat a burger naked or something. I don't know. You've not, you've, dude. <laughs> don't even get me started on that. Attack show. on Titan speak coming show to you, so uh, coming to you in probably four years. Speak, speak on Titan. Speak on Titan. <laughs> Titan speak. Oh god. So yeah, what's your score? So episode twenty five, I gave five? a five out of seven stars. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was great. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, um, each of these episodes feels just a little long in the tooth. I gave it a six. Ooh. We get some. We get some awesome character moments. We get some awesome development. We get some really interesting interactions. Awesome action. Um, as far as we know, a character death. Dude, like this is this is in, injected into my veins. It's not a perfect episode, yeah. but I loved this episode. We mm-hmm. get some really, really good stuff. This is pure Dragon Ball Z. The only quote-unquote filler that we get in this episode, which of course they're always going to add some stuff, so even calling it filler seems obnoxious, Yeah. Um, would be, yeah, the reporter stuff, which there's very little of, and mm-hmm. then the multi-form, the little multi-form battle that they have that's for 60 cool, seconds. Though. Exactly, and that's yeah. in character. It makes sense that they would do that, so I don't even necessarily count that as filler. It just technically is filler. Exactly, yeah. Um, a really good episode. Um, yeah, the dialogue is all good. I, I just like it quite a bit. And then episode 26, I gave a two out of seven stars. Two I had a very seven. bad time. I, there, really? I, I mean, it's better than the, like some of the filler because like some of the, we are moving forward with the plot, but like for the most part, other than the weird hand thing and then Goku or Gohan murking Nappa, I was like, man, I, there's nothing in this episode I liked. Damn. Really? Yeah. The first half pretty bad. Um, yeah. besides, so the, um, the Piccolo dialogue with Gohan, I think is good. Hmm. Anything with Nappa, I thought was pretty bad. Yeah, which is <laughs> gar- which is granted ten minutes of the episode, mm. um, and then everything with Goku, I think, is very good. So I didn't think. Yeah, it was I like that, but it was like at it was point, it was short. I mean, at that it was it was a good spot, but it was like the mm-hmm. only highlight in the episode for me it was, and that's only because it's like finally get- off Snake Way, Jesus. Okay, yeah, no, I mean you're right. Yeah, it's not great. I, I give it a four. Okay, not a two, but. Um, there was, there was some, yeah, I'm, some I'm, I think I'm just hype. Like I'm in, mm-hmm. I'm, I really, really like this part. Damn it! <laughs> well, my well, cat has there. joined the uh, podcast. Yep. This is Bonnie. I don't even know if she's visible, but okay, well, that's it. She just wanted to make an appearance. Okay. <laughs> she wanted to cool. We'll camera. get a million views now. Yeah, hopefully that would be really nice. And then Tell your friends. Nimbus Speed, I gave a four out of seven stars. Damn, a four! <laughs> oh my god! So once again, man, six out of seven. Okay. I'll let you go, but it starts off and it's so yeah, so morose with these uh with the music and the characters. Really mm-hmm. good music in these three episodes. It's starting to pick up. Yeah. Once again, we're listening to the um English or the American music, which it j- honestly just because there's that's a whole argument, but it's yeah. just because I prefer it, mm-hmm. and honestly, it's just better. Um, Got it. Yeah, I might get a couple of dislikes for that one, but um. God, dude, yeah, there's a couple small things, again, in this episode that I don't like necessarily, like some of the Nappa dialogue or whatever, but we get some really good moments. We get their plan versus Nappa, which was go- going really well. Mm-hmm. Gohan does good. Um, yeah, the stuff at the Kami house and Chi-Chi with guns and whatever. Oh, we didn't even touch on that yet. Super yeah. lame. Uh, the picture in the frame and Bulma reminiscing about their childhood, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Krillin's Destructo disc. Um, it's an iconic attack just because it's cool. I really like seeing it. Yeah, my four on this episode it. was less like that there was bad things and more that it's just like it just felt like a standard up like all right, this is a this is a good episode. Well, yeah, okay, no, and four is a good score. Yeah, it's less that I was like, ooh, this is not a seven or a six or a five, just more of like this feels like a this is like the middle of the pack episode for me. Mm. Yeah, and we get that piccolo piccolo taking that blast at the end, which is mm-hmm. what a what a turnaround, man, and not in one year. Or I guess more than that. Sorry, but and since he fought when he fought Goku at the end of Dragon Ball, he's essentially like he's a, essentially a super villain. He's yeah. really just truly. I mean, evil. He's like the the worst villain. Yeah, or the baddest villain in um, Dragon Ball. Well, not him, but um, yeah. I mean, I think King Piccolo may, is arguably worse, but yeah, that's fair. Uh, even still, 
he's the reincarnation of King Piccolo rather than they go back and forth between like offspring and reincarnation, but yeah. supposedly the reincarnation. But yeah, we see here that he, he has compassion. Obviously he's learned to like love Gohan essentially. Um, like a son, like a son. Damn dude. I love the show. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm really excited to get to this fight and like move past what we've gone through. This, yeah. Yeah. That filler arc is like a big old dent. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it sucks. Yeah. There's just no way around it. I don't know why. That's why they made, the, for the 20th anniversary of Dragon Ball Z, they made Dragon Ball Z Kai. You just cut all that out. They cut all the filler out, all most of the filler out, but the problem is, yeah, some of the animation is, yeah, the, I, I'm, that's a whole nother debate. The dialogue is all better, but. Dragon Ball yeah, Z Kai, the, speak, coming to you soon. Yeah, the music, yeah, I, I won't even bother. The music's different the voice actor for gohan's different and worse in my opinion uh it's a whole thing it's a whole debate great yeah man wow i really it's a long one (laughs) it's a long boy she a big one damn okay yeah okay um so will uh will goku finally arrive uh, yes to fight the saiyans yes yeah or will he fall off his nimbus and drown in the ocean (laughs) if he does this show's over uh piccolo took that blast what Mm. is that gonna do Mm. um what is gohan gonna do what is will goku go super saiyan yes find out next time on dragon ball speak tell your friends subscribe we need more views You could tell that was...